This week, we are introducing you to the Republican primary candidates for the District 30 House seat. 25 News Now anchor Don Brubaker joins us now with candidate Brett Baldwin. Karina, thank you and welcome, sir. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. <laughs> How interesting is this campaign? Because uh, the four people who are running, very recognizable names to people in the crossroads. They absolutely are. Yes, yeah. sir. And, and some great competition and great opponents. But uh, I think we all bring a little bit of different skill sets to the table and we'll just allow the voters to make their choice. Why did you pick to run? Well, that's a, that's a great question. I, I did a lot of prayer about it. I had some folks ask me to consider it. They liked what I did on the school board when I was there for five years. I asked really tough questions. I listened to a lot of people, do my research, and uh, they said, why don't you give it a shot? And so uh, uh, I prayed really hard again on it and finally drove myself up on the very last day and filed with two hours left to go. And, and I'm now in this race and I'm going after it. Mm -hmm. People know you from the Victoria ISD board. And mm -hmm. of course, one of the hot issues in the legislature last year that was has not been uh, really dealt with mm -hmm. uh, teacher pay raises. Mm -hmm. uh, where do you stand on Governor Abbott grouping teacher pay raises with school vouchers? Well, I, first and foremost, I always wanted to get our teachers and also the educators and the staff and more income. I think we've fallen far behind and that's something I worked very hard on to try to bring to the school district. And gladly so, I'm seeing things now starting to turn around. So it's an absolute imperative that we have great pay be competitive and not just in the area, but I want us to be above and be really competitive around the state of Texas. And so that's first and foremost. With regards to vouchers, you know, I think it's about choice and I'm for choice, but I don't think vouchers is the only alternative, is the only solution. There are other options. And one of the things I'm proud of that I was involved with in that was giving choice. We have our STEM, which is science technology, uh, engineering and math is a choice school. We have career technical education, which I've been working very hard on. So there's different options out there for the students to be able to take and to really get ready to go in the workforce or go on to military or the college. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, for those small districts, if you do have a voucher system, it's not uh, uh, conducive to help them to be able to have all the necessary funds and the economies of scale to be able to spend. So it puts them a little bit at a disadvantage. So for that reason, I don't think vouchers is the right uh, direction to go. Mm -hmm. The border is a hot issue, mm -hmm. and this has hit your family personally in a way. Uh, tell me about that if you would like. Sure. Well, you know, <laughs> just the sheer numbers of, is, is, going to, is, is hurtful. I mean, we don't have those small communities to be able to handle and the, the, the hospital needs, education needs. But the one thing that I'm really saddened by and just it's sad that we have such a chaotic situation that we have criminals that are coming across our border and we need to secure and make more safe places for our communities. And unfortunately, I... Uh, I had a young man that I coached in Little League. I coached him in upward sports and also uh, through Awana's programs and he uh, passed away from a fentanyl overdose. And so I just attended that uh, celebration of life uh, this past Saturday. Oh my goodness. Mr. Baldwin, thank you so much for coming in and taking our questions. Yeah, we thank really you very much. It was a pleasure to be here. Thank you. You bet. All right, Karina, back to you. Don, thank you. Friday, we're going to have District 30 Republican candidate Jeff Bachnight live. The Republican primary winner will face Democrat Stephanie Basham in the November election. She is running unopposed in the Democratic primary election.